Hey guys, I've been wanting Lake and Skies 1111 fragrance for a while and I picked up a few items including the body oil, a travel spray, and a roller ball. And I just wanted to give you my thoughts on it in case you were interested in picking up any of these. Uh, first and foremost, they're absolutely stunning and that's what drew me to these products. It's typically what draws me to any product product initially is how it looks and it's very minimalist and chic and simple and unisex and it's just very timeless and I really love that about this brand. 1111 the scent has a cult following. The top notes um, it's ozonic accord, middle notes amberwood, and bottom notes white musk. A lot of people love this fragrance. If you've done any research whatsoever, you'll read reviews where people are obsessed with the scent. I have to agree, it's very, very beautiful. And you can see with this oil, it's a very kind of thin, like a dry oil, and it absorbs pretty well into the skin. My only gripe with this particular product, which I think is pretty safe to say for all of the 1111 uh, Lake and Sky products, is that the scent is not very strong, particularly in the body oil. And this is also something that a lot of people complain about. You know, they love the scent, but they can hardly smell it. And I have to agree. I think that if it was stronger, so many more people would love this fragrance and they would buy it. I mean, a lot of people buy it and then they just don't want to repurchase it because it doesn't have the lasting power. So that is my only complaint, especially for the price. So that is my opinion on it. Um, you spray it on and then you can't really smell it for that long. Um, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing these, but I hope this video helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.